All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I Hello, brought you Joe. a new custom. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. Retired, please. How are you? The papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. Is this really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here. Take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. See you around, Giuseppe. Say Benedict. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Ci vediamo, Vito. Okay, you still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Possible stolen vehicle. Step on it. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Yeah, well, it's not over yet. Lose him. Quick. 10-4. All right. Looks like we lost. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. Hey, good they afternoon. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. How can I help you? Are you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. License plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a cup. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Be done in a jiffy.
Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Hey, who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you. Hey, look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike! You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Christ. Plenty. And who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a Moulinian neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go on the ammo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Leave gas in that thing. There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. Hey, what if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Kill this 
Mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Not just their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where did the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your three hundred bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. By a country road, while roses grow. You'll see. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. <laughs> 